Views were expressed in Parliament today over the statement made by State Minister Vijay Kala Maheshwaran recently. I took action to inquire the statement which was made by State Minister Vijay Kala Maheshwaran the very morning I was informed about it. In addition, I have taken measures to obtain the cassette on that statement and analyze that translation. I will take every measure possible on this. I have also sought the advice of the Attorney General after informing the leadership of the party she represents. While this process was underway, two MPs acted in an unholy manner which brought disrepute to the good name of Parliament. This is a disgrace to Parliament. I wish to announce the stance of the government and the United National Party, which is, we will always protect the unity of this country. The LTTE has been banned. There is no reason to recreate the banned LTTE organization. We will act on this basis. It is within this frame that we will be protecting the unity of this country while protecting Buddhism and will be solving the issue on fundamental rights via a political solution. We will also be solving the issue on the devolution of power. Both you and I discussed this matter. The moment I was informed about the statement made by Minister Maheshwaran, I inquired about it. The political committee met yesterday. State Minister Vijay Kala Maheshwaran had taken ill yesterday. I informed her that I need to meet her when she returns to Colombo. We have also taken decisions on the measures and investigations that should be done with regard to her. We will take those measures once we meet. Who is doing this? If you can make Karuna who killed 600 police officers as the deputy chairman and if you can win a presidential election by giving money to Prabhakaran and if you can imprison the army commander who defeated the LTTE, how can you come here and speak like this? <laughs> This is what I question from you. If you are yelling out on this, let us all approve the letter that Minister Sarat Fonseca has given to you on political revenge. Why was he imprisoned? We are aware. You yelled out yesterday to stop the comments on the New York Times article. This is what happened. <laughs> MPs Vimal Veeravansa and Prasanna Ranavira and several others spoke in a very degrading and disrespectful manner to the Speaker in Parliament and even acted in a threatening and unruly manner which prompted to postpone parliamentary sittings to the next day. I request you to direct this to the Committee on Ethics and Privileges and take immediate action over the breach of ethics. I request that a proposal be made to be put forward to the Committee on Ethics and Privileges.